Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm very excited to show you the, uh, this uh, Porsche 992 GT3 and this is actually 118 scale die cast with full opening part by Noraf uh, yay finally we got Noraf version so uh, first one it came out of was the uh, Maestro version and it has a lot of different color you got blue, yellow, black and also red as well and uh, but unfortunately i always knew that that wasn't the uh, you know my final collection piece and uh, one day i'm gonna be having a proper you know collectible items and uh, maestro was all right but uh, it's not really you know it's very cheap actually uh if you go to costco if you have a membership and you can actually get that one in the uk for about 18 pounds and that is including vat and everything so it is very cheap, but uh, on the eBay and on the retail price, it is about thirty-five pound to forty pounds. So, but this one is roughly about eighty to hundred pounds, which is uh, I think is a reasonable price, I have to say, for what you're getting. And this is definitely a better version by Noraf, and there will be also the Mini Champ version of that as well. And that is going to be a nine nine two uh, Turbo S, which I have this one on a pre-order as well and that will be the opening part for the first time you know a mini chance that i know from the 992 in the past i had that green one before python green and that was sealed and then the quality of that python green was not that good so i was you know ended up selling it and finally now we they are having the opening version of that so i'm really excited to have that one in my collection as well and i like to compare with this Nora version and also the uh, Maestro version but unfortunately I have already sold my Maestro version uh, <laughs> on eBay so I don't have that side by side to compare um, but nevertheless I know what it looks like so I can talk to you through it and I will show you what this uh, lovely Nora looks like now this one comes in quite a lot of different color range as well so they have the um, I think it's yellow, yellow with stripe and also the uh, blue one as well and there are a couple other colors orange and stuff like that but uh, I chose this one the reason why is that I really really like this uh, wheel and all the other color has a black wheel and with the, uh, some blue uh, you know surround or whatever just like Maestro so if you have the other color you won't be able to tell whether it's a Maestro or the Noraf unless you look at the windows that's the only thing that you can differentiate otherwise they look pretty similar in terms of paint job wise so um, this one definitely stands out because this Nora version is really really impressive I really like this and because the reason why is uh, the all the Porsche logo that you see here on the side and also the wheel is very unique and different color and uh, so I really really like this uh, Nora version and uh, in my head it feels quite you know weighty as well but maybe not the heaviest one I have ever held in my hand uh, I think this is about 700 to probably 800 grand I would say I will measure it later on to prove that um, but nevertheless first impression the paint jobs the looks it just way better than Nora I have to say and uh, something about it it just looks right you know it just feels right uh, it's not because of the window is the only thing it's also the rest of the part here somehow even the body and the mold they look the same but the um, the headlight is actually something about it this headlight looks better than the Maestro one and also the all the uh, full LED light is actually lift up a little bit more so you can see the actual beam and all the main lights there and uh, in the Maester one somehow it's a little bit lower down and I don't know why uh, but in this one definitely stands up and also the trunk can actually open but unfortunately I don't know how to open this and it can't stuck and uh, you can definitely open it for sure and uh, I flip it over there is no buttons or anything underneath there to press it up or anything like that I use one of those sticks as well it doesn't actually fit and somehow the gap is so tightly sealed which is nice in a way but also bad that it doesn't actually you know can't I can't even put my finger nails in this how tight the seal is 
but it definitely can open you can see the line here which means that it can have the opening part there but unfortunately i can't show it to you guys but i'm pretty sure that inside is gonna be carpeted and looks nice as well so but the what i really really do like is the uh, this uh, emblem of the porch and that is the best emblem i have ever seen it has a gold uh, effects and looks like a real car and it's also blend in into the you know the body as well i think it's a separate piece that glue into it and that is really nice i like that and interior is also definitely better than the um, you know the uh, base version for sure uh, for the start the, uh, the seat is actually common fiber effects around it which is very nice uh, let me have a little zoom in a little bit so you can see that uh, the seat is definitely better. The interior, the steering wheels and all the stuff, all the dies and everything, it also actually looks better as well than Maisto. Um, so yeah, and I'm very pleased with that. And also you can see the GT3 logos on it, on the door, and on the door panels and stuff. It's also not bad. I would prefer if they have a little bit more different color or something like that, that would be nicer, more silver part maybe. But I'm not really fussing too much about it. And there is, a, of course, there's a carpet, the seat belt, and everything. And the seat definitely looks a lot better than me, though, I have to say. That is really uh, stands out. Um, yeah, so you can see quite a lot of bits and pieces, all the dials and everything in there as well, which is lovely. And somehow the door and, you know, doesn't shut hard like the previous one. It's very soft close, actually. Um, in the previous Norav models, that they get, when you shut it, it's a slam, bang, you know, like that. But in this one, it doesn't feel like that. It's very soft touch. And also, I like the little decal on here. And then this one is a silver piece there to actually shut the door, which is really, really nice. And at the back, the brake disc and caliper also nice. And you can see the brake front disc is also lovely. And you can see all the little detail in there and also at the back the tail light is definitely better There is no red color like a maze though. Maze though one has a red plastic bar that goes around it But here you can see all the little lights and stuff everything So if I actually zoom in a little bit you can see the Porsche logos and all the details are there and it's such a lovely detail uh, i'm absolutely loving this motor car actually and this could be one of my favorite out of you know all the cars i have and so yeah i'm very happy with that so let's look at the other side and again the interior is lovely and the sat nav is actually reflected somehow i mean you can see that quite clearly when you actually move it a little bit um, so that is one nice features and also again carpet here, carp, you know, everything looks lovely here. So yeah, um, I can't wait to, you know, compare with this one with a mini champ version of that. But of course it's not going to be GT3, it will be a Turbo S. But nevertheless, I like to compare the, you know, quality between these two. Uh, I'm really hoping that the mini champ has stepped up because in the past all the mini champs that I have is just terrible i really don't like it i ended up selling both of them both porsche uh, 918 and also the uh, 992 that turbo s the one with the sealed version so they all you know sold out but uh, this one i'm definitely keeping it for sure for a lifetime <laughs> so yeah this is my really pride collection really so i absolutely loving this porsche so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.